TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, don't forget, twitch.com is where you can catch a live usernames at the bottom of the screen. And we also got Patreon, where we post things that we can't watch on YouTube, such as Premier League Extended Highlights. Now, I, I, I want to make, I'm here because I'm just now getting into the, into the sport of football. Somebody t called my, my, my um, highlight analysis, what did they call it? Uh, I think he called them rudimentary. That's fair. I'm going to be honest with you. That, that is completely fair. Um, but a lot of them is right. Because as you know, I'm one of the greatest athletes to bless YouTube. Now, let's get into my... Uh, oh, people ask me who am I rooting for. The standings have nothing to do with who I'm rooting for. I just want to put that out there right now. The standings have nothing to do... Or who I am rooting for. Man City is top of the top of the league. Apparently, y'all told me in the comments that they've won the last four Premier Leagues or something like that. I'm cool with watching them. I'm cool. Uh, Erling ha Holland, good guy. He's good, right? He's good. That's good for him, though. That's good for all the Man City fans. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's like, it's boring. And I have nothing, I have, there's nothing wrong with boring players and teams as long as they're winning. Because normally the more boring the team in any sport means the more winning they do. Because they stick to the basics. They play the sport as it should be played. They're very defensive minded. And, and, and their strategies be on point. But me, I'd rather go watch paint dry. Not even going to... I I watch some highlights on Patreon. Link down in the description. But... I honestly might be more excited to see them lose than win. Because that's exciting. Uh, Brighton... That's Manchester, right? Eh... I don't really have an opinion on them. They cool. Let, let, my team is Liverpool. You know what I'm saying? I'm the honorary scouse. And this is not a nickname I've given myself. It was given to me by the people. So with that being said, the first person to ever send me some jerseys, I think, was Tony from Liverpool. So Tony, salute. Because of you, I am a Liverpool fan. Hands down. So, I'm holding it down for Liverpool, who, by the way, is undefeated. And I don't know why they, they, they numbered them like this. One, two, three, four. Why would they put Liverpool? Oh, is it, is it in alphabetical order? No, then Arsenal would be. Anyway, I'm rolling with Liverpool as my number one. And, and since I'm not from the United Kingdom, I got two teams. <laughs> I got two teams. You know what I'm saying? I don't got to be completely loyal. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can, I can double up. Arsenal is my second team. Now, if it's not going good for Liverpool, I'm rolling with Arsenal. Arsenal is good. They got that. What's his name? Um, Saka. Saka. I think that's his name, right? On Arsenal. Bro is. It, honestly, they run the entire offense through him. I never like. It's ridiculous. Bro is either assisting, uh, assist, a uh, hockey assist, what's that? An assist to an assist to a goal, um, or he's scoring. I don't know if I if that might be my favorite player, or I don't know. But if, as of right now, Arsenal is my second team. Um, and, I, and I wouldn't even go that far into saying I got uh, three teams. Um... Man United. Everybody else always telling me about Man United, but apparently they got no defense and they and they team is trash because of the manager. Mm, I think it has something to do with the players too. Me personally, I would assume that it has something to do with the players. 
Uh, at the end of the day, your manager could be trash, but if you got some pride out on that on the on the pitch or, where, or wherever you playing at, you gonna put it all on the field and win. At the end of the day, now now let's get down here to these bottom three. I believe that these bottom three, just from watching the two weeks that I have watched, should be here. There's this is no mistake that they they are here. Who is Crystal Palace? Never even seen them. But Everton, terrible. And I want to apologize to all the Everton fans out there. It's, it's not going good. I know you came into this season hopeful, but it ain't what you thought it was going to be. You're down bad. Um, matter of fact, we can, we can press the button. Press the button tomorrow. Oh, y'all play tomorrow? On a Tuesday? Why y'all play on a Tuesday? Huh. Anyway, this is y'all most recent game. 4-0 to the Hot Spurs. 3-0 to Brighton. Brother, you got no defense or offense. Your goalie is the goalie for... The England national team is not looking good. And I wanted England to bring it home. But if this was the goalie, I understand. I understand what happened and why. I don't even got to watch the game. It was rough. I get it. I know. I apologize. But this is unacceptable. Everton might look up and be out of the league next season. What they call that when you out of the league? Suspended, what they call it? I don't even know. And then you got the wolves. The wolves. Let's talk about the wolves. I'm just talking. I'm just talking right now. I'm not sure where the wolves are from exactly. I think they're from. Are they? Is this a Birmingham team? Where, did, who, where are the wolves from? All right. They're a London based club, I believe. Right? The wolves. Well, they're, they're, they're second or third fiddle because. From what I've seen, this is exactly where they should be. They Listen, the Premier League or sponsors don't even care enough to give y'all a real jersey. Y'all out there playing in t-shirts. I can go get that t-shirt from the... I, anybody can walk out the store, go to the grocery store, your local Asda market, and grab the, a Wolves shirt. And probably jump the pitch and play. And might give a goal because at this point... Listen, it's that you're down bad. Ips, Ips, Ipswich Town? It's Monday. I'm upset. Ipswich Town? I feel like they just like a practice team. Like anybody that wants a win, like put Ipswich on your schedule, and that's a guaranteed win. You almost could like sit your best players out and get them a rest. And that's, and that's just me being honest at the end of the day. And and Premier League is the best of the best, right? In 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 uh in 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 England, right? And then there's like a pyramid, you can go down or up, but Premier League is at the top. So let me let me tell everybody something real quick. If your team is not on a Premier League, I don't even want to hear about them. Am, is that is, am I being bogus? They're not good enough to be in the Premier League, so I don't want to hear about them. Better luck next year. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. And how many, how many, one, two, Southampton, Crystal Palace, two, okay. So what happens if no, if, let's say if Everton, Wolves, Ipswich, Crystal, Southampton, they all tie at the end of the year. They're the Bottom five teams. How do we determine who goes down and who stays? What two go down and what three stay up? I mean, what three go down and what two stay if everybody, if five teams are all tied? Just hypothetically speaking, let's say the bottom five. Dang, y'all can't even see. The bottom five. If the bottom five all lose, I go over however many games. How do we determine? 
which out of the fives get gone. I think Everton should automatically get the get out vote. You know what I'm saying? I hope that they can turn it around. Maybe I'll eat my words. Maybe not. But my early prediction for Premier League champion, Premier League, you know, to get the to get the trophy at the end of the day, Liverpool.